Hello. Welcome to today's edition of That Tastes Amazing. What is it? This is the show where we help you expand your nutritional horizons. You know, you can eat a lot more things than you've ever dreamt of. And I'm here to show you what. Now today, we're going to talk about the wonderful world of edible weeds. You might think the orach plant is just a roadside weed, but our friend Natriplex patula bears thousands of seeds which you can gather in the autumn and they'll keep all year long if you haven't already snaffled them up. Mmm, yummy! <laughs> now grind them as you would any other kind of cornmeal and you can blend them into your flour supply. You can also use them to thicken your soup. And don't waste the rest of the plant. You can eat the young leaves in salads and you can cook up the old leaves like spinach. Goose food salad and orach bread. What a filling meal. And it's all free. Yes. <coughs> that is a nettle. Now, who wants to eat a nettle, really? Well, gorillas, for one, they love nettles. They eat thistles and nestles every chance they get. But I don't suppose you're a gorilla. And if you are, well, you're hiding it very well. And bravo for you. <laughs> of course, artichokes are basically monstrously large thistles. But you already know about artichokes. This isn't an artichoke. It's not even a thistle. It's a nettle. Urtica dioica is a tall plant with a thick root we call a rhizome. And the whole plant is just packed with vitamins. In fact, it's quite medicinal. You can use it to treat sore muscles, eczema, arthritis, gout and anemia. Though I doubt any of you uh, have the gout, eh? <laughs> That's the one thing about our present thrifty lifestyle as well, eh? Now, be careful, because this is called a stinging nettle for a reason. It's got lots of sharp, stinging, tiny hairs. And each of these tiny hairs is hollow and contains a drop of formic acid. That's what ants bite you with. And when the hair pierces your skin, it injects the acid. You'll have an annoying, burning sensation that can last for minutes or even days. And, and you won't have got it from anything fun, will you? No. <laughs> so, the best thing to do is to... Wear gloves. And if you do get stung, try rubbing the sting with the root of the plant. It might make the itch go away, and uh, in any event, it'll make you look and feel rather clever. <coughs> then you're going to do one of two things once you've harvested it. You can cook it, or you can dry it. You probably don't like eating your vegetables dry, uh, unless you're a cow, <laughs> in which case you're hiding it very well. Bravo, you! <laughs> and do let me know where you live so I can eat you up. <coughs> now, what you ought to do is Cook it as you would cook spinach. In fact, it tastes a great deal like spinach. And did I mention that it's packed with vitamins? Yes, I did. Well, it is. You can also put it in soups and stews. The best leaves are the young, light green ones. But makers can't be choosers. You can even make it into tea. But everyone knows you can eat weeds. And who hasn't eaten a yummy dandelion salad? Clover has a lovely lemony taste. You can eat it raw, but... Like all proper English food, it's much better if you boil it for at least half an hour. Chicory is best known as tea, but you can eat the whole plant. The young leaves you can eat raw, and the flowers make a great snack. And if you put the roots in a stew, it'll add flavour, bulk, vitamins, and calories. Sheep sorrel is a common weed like acid soil, like your common English bog. Don't eat too much of it, it's full of oxalates. But the leaves have a very nice tart flavour. Just remember... All of these plants are edible, especially if you boil them. And if you're not sure about a plant, just put it in a soup. A little of the wrong will almost never kill you, as long as you mix it in with lots of good stuff. Just eat a little at first, and if it doesn't upset your stomach, eat a little bit more the next time. Soon you'll be chowing down like a cow. But you're not a cow, or I'm coming to your house for dinner. Ah, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. This is Uncle Jack wishing you an amazing breakfast, lunch and dinner. Tune in next time when we explore the fabulous world of edible insects. Did you know you can eat maggots? They're nutritious and scrumptious. Uh -huh.